Hey, I'm Amy. Thanks for watching. I'll give you a quick, 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 brief overview of where I was a year ago, that, which is what brought me to where I am today. So a year ago, I was living in Los Angeles, living my cute, creative life. I was working and then I was starting to get momentum, going out every night doing my open mics for comedy. And I just, I love Los Angeles. I love the people the culture, the art. I just love that everybody is creative. Not everybody, but a lot of people are creative. And I just always vibe with people in LA. And of course I love the sun and good weather. And so anyway, I'm out in LA. Um, I was so proud of myself. I was pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I taught myself how to drive. Yes, I did. So right out of high school, I moved to New York City. So I really didn't need to learn how to drive. So anyway, and then when I lived in LA for three years, I worked by right by where I lived. So I didn't need a car either. And then I moved back to New York. So anyway, I was so proud of myself. I taught myself how to drive. And, but I was kind of stressed because my whole family was on the East Coast. So I kind of felt guilty. And anyway, one day my mom called me and she was like, she was like, yeah, father's got a month to live, the doctor told him. And unless if he got like a heart pump thing, and thankfully my dad is still, still kicking, thankfully. Um, but that led me really stressed. Um, yeah, like a month, what? And on top of that, uh, I was just so fight or flight and feeling anxious about money because of inflation. Inflation was through the roof, like $12 eggs, $6 gas. It was outrageous. And then buying a car, I should not have bought my car, um, but it was, it, it, I needed a car. So long story short, um, thankfully my, I, I was so anxious about money and that my, thankfully my friend let me crash on his couch for a while. I had to sell my car. It was that bad. And then on top of that, I was going through a weird breakup. So cut to, it was actually cheaper for me to move back to New York because I got rid of my car. And anyway, so things, here I am, I'm back in New York and it just feels lighter. Um, so anyway, yeah, and I'm by my family bus right away. I found a pretty cool living situation. I mean, it's not a perfect, luxurious, beautiful place, but you know what? I like it. It's good for me for right now. <laughs> yeah, like I'll get my nice buttercup yellow kitchen soon and my own cute living room soon and a separate bedroom soon. But for now, this'll do. So anyway, cut to present day. Um, my friend from Los Angeles, she actually was in town visiting. So I met up with her. We spent about two and a half hours trying to find a parking spot, but that didn't stop our fun. We had a good old time walking around the city. And she's from the Bronx. So like, it's just, it's, it's so fun to roam the city with her. So we went to a little, craft uh, outside flea market and um, just enjoyed it. it was a beautiful day and then the next day I had uh, I worked from home and yeah I will say I've missed working in the office and I've missed my co-workers a little bit it can get lonely working in my little dark room I have a dark room because my window is so small and it looks out to another brick wall <laughs> so it's like it could be beautiful and sunny out and I have a have no idea. So anyway, I took a little break and worked the rest of the day from the library. I love libraries. I, I was a kid. I was always at the library as a kid. And also I worked at a library when I was 16. And so that was nice. And I went to Target, got some stuff to get organized because you know, when you go to a new, when you move, if you don't properly get organized right then and there, forget it. Forget it. it, feels like your place is a black hole and you're getting sucked in by the walls. So yeah, well, a well-earned uh, Target trip, which makes me happy, I love Target. So the next morning, I went to go for a quick little walk before work. I ended up going to the wrong park. That's okay, it's all cool pigeon. I'm just so ready for spring and summer, guys made it to the Met. I didn't go in the Met, but I walked by the Met. Ah, New York City. I love New York. So 
Central Park action over here. And then it was my dad's birthday, so I made a really, really quick pit stop to go visit. But on the bus, I got a really cool opportunity. So I got an audition to play uh, on an, a Peacock show. So here I am memorizing my lines. So I recorded my voice doing my script for the audition and I walk to memorize it and get in my bones. And then this is my method I do when I need to memorize something. I'll write out the first letter of the script and then read it and then look up to memorize it. And here's me chugging seltzer water, which is my nervous habit. Um, okay, so yeah, so memorizing the script with my little technique, the method. If you ever want to memorize something, it's a really helpful thing. It does work for me. And here I am doing my self-tape to turn in. So yeah, I had my mom read my lines. Uh, if I got this gig, it would change my life. So it would be uh, four episodes for hey something that would cha wow, really just change my life. Oh no! As usual, we can't take ourselves seriously, but I pulled it together and filmed it and I feel great about it. See if I get this audition. Tune in next episode.